Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at the dangers of carbon monoxide. Now to explain how dangerous carbon monoxide is, we're first going to look at what happens when normal air is breathed in by a human being. So normal air contains oxygen, we breathe it in and it goes from the lungs into our red blood cells. Once it gets into the red blood cells, it binds with the haemoglobin. It's then passed around the body in the red blood cells until it gets to its target cell. That could be in the leg, it could be in the liver, wherever. And respiration occurs, where it takes glucose and oxygen from the blood and it produces carbon dioxide and water and produces energy, that energy that all the cells need to live. That carbon dioxide is then put back into the blood and is transported back up to the lungs and we breathe it out. When incomplete combustion occurs, carbon monoxide is produced. And if you're in a room where there's carbon monoxide, you will breathe that in. Now what happens is the carbon monoxide will come from the lungs into the red blood, just like oxygen does. But the problem here is the carbon monoxide also binds to the haemoglobin in the blood. When that happens, it'll move around. The oxygen that is in there at the moment will lead to respiration, carbon dioxide and water being produced. However, when the carbon monoxide gets to its target cell, it doesn't do anything, it's trapped, it cannot move. So it stays in the red blood. That means respiration cannot occur. And eventually, this process will continue until there is no room for oxygen. So there's only carbon monoxide in the blood. If respiration can't occur, the cells don't get enough energy because they can't respire. So the body becomes sleepy, tired. Eventually it can lead to you falling unconscious and worst case scenario, it can lead to death. Now this is usually caused in a home by a blocked boiler. Sometimes you get birds that have nests on the roof and they can block the boiler. So it's really, really important to get have a carbon monoxide tester. The other danger of carbon monoxide is it's a colourless, odourless gas. So you can't see it, you can't smell it. That's why it's massively important they have something that's going to tell you if you're in danger. So what can the examiner ask you on this then? So I've got an example question here. When pentane combusts incompletely, carbon monoxide is formed. Explain how carbon monoxide behaves as a toxic gas. So it's worth four marks. Think through step by step what have we spoken about in this question that makes it toxic, makes it dangerous. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Right, let's see how you've done. So when it says it's toxic, we're talking about what makes it so dangerous. So if we start off with the fact that it binds with the haemoglobin in the red blood, really important to get the haemoglobin in there. They might not give you the mark if you say it gets trapped in the blood. The next mark is it says, the next mark is it stops oxygen from getting into the blood. The cells can't respire. They don't have enough oxygen for respiration, something like that. And then therefore, the cells don't get enough energy from that respiration is your fourth mark. And then the fifth thing you could have said is it can lead to feeling tired, becoming sleepy, becoming unconscious, death, any one of those actual physical things that happens to the body from taking it in. So there's five things you could have said, maximum of four to get your four marks. And that's all there is to it in this video. I have got a review question for you saying, if a bird were to make a nest on top of a boiler, the pipe that brings oxygen to the boiler can become blocked. Explain in terms of the toxic gas formed, why this can be dangerous. So this one's worth four marks. What is the gas that is formed? That's fairly obvious, carbon monoxide. Why is it dangerous? You could also talk about the fact that it's colourless and odourless here, and then talk about the haemoglobin, talk about the fact that it's getting trapped in the red blood and the effects that it has. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.